What's up, automotive pandas? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, I just got myself this thing from Top Don. It's an OBD scanner, and this one looks like it's pretty nice. It's kind of big, and I love having these. Uh, you know, getting your computer or your onboard diagnostic scanned is, you know, it's one of those things that's simple to do, but it's kind of a pain if you need to do it, right? You can go to AutoZone or Riley's and often they will do it for you for free, but it's just, it's another thing that you have to go and do. And especially if you're working in your car and disconnect your battery, or maybe you have a check engine light on and you know, it might just be something like a loose gas cap. Uh, you know, it can be easy to diagnose some things. And so having a handheld scanner of your own can save you a lot of time. I know that I have diagnosed a lot of things for neighbors who are like, hey, do you have that scanner I can borrow? Or friends and whatever. And I end up giving a lot of them away because I'm like, you know, you have an older car, but things are bound to happen, O2 sensors, whatever. Why don't you just keep this? Because they're not that expensive. So I wanted to check this one out too. Again, uh, pretty affordable, but this one is definitely a step up above the ones that I've had. A little wrist strap here, obviously kind of a, a nylon hard case. If we open it up here, I would just say that I mean, overall, this one seems a little bit more top shelf than some of the other ones. And we have a, a mini USB cable here. We also have what looks like a quick start guide, which is generally just plugging your OBD port and then it powers up. We have a panel flap right here to kind of protect it from that mesh pocket. And then we have the scanner. So look at that, man. Uh, this is this is no joke. I mean, this is a nice looking, this is a nice looking scanner, I'll be honest. Uh, the whole presentation of it is kind of a little bit more hoity-toity than I was expecting. And so here we go. Uh, cut in custom foam. And here's the scanner. We'll pull this little screen protector off. Blue plastic. Not super big, but this is definitely not the smallest or most pocketable one. But I will tell you the the one of the reasons for that is this is one of the biggest screens I've ever had on kind of one of my home uh, use scanners. And uh, black plastic down here with a little grippy side surface, a fairly generous cord and the er, OBD connector right there. And then uh, what we have are navigation buttons. Ooh, really solid clicks on all these too. You know, not just squishy rubber. An okay button. Looks like a, a back and then a help button here. So you can't tell if this is good or not yet unless we plug it in. It works. Looks like over here there's the plug for connecting it uh, via the mini USB to your computer, presumably. You need to download new software or update that, I am assuming. And uh, I'll just kind of verify that in the paperwork. But until then, why don't we go ahead and take it out. I'm in my Fiat 500. I just plugged the ODB reader into the port underneath and just turned accessory power on. And the first thing I will tell you is that this thing has a huge, bright, color screen i mean that is the first thing you will notice powers up as soon as you plug it in and now we have a, a few options here so it looks like it automatically defaults to the onboard diagnostics icon so i'm just going to hit okay here and go into it it's like it does a little pre-check on things awesome i'm going to hit okay again uh, this is kind of where you'll generally go for my purposes at least it's usually uh, reading or erasing codes i'm going to hit read codes here and I'm gonna hit for current codes. And of course I have no check engine light on per se, so uh, no problem, let's go back out. And I'm just gonna kinda of scroll down here to pending codes as well, just see if I have anything pending. And no codes, I like, I like seeing that. And so I'm just gonna kinda of back out here, see if we can get back to the main menu, or am I sure I wanna exit the diagnostic function? Sure. And then it looks like we have the ability to look up codes here. Looks like we also have the ability to do some review. So um, I don't have anything here. I mean, so if I hit review DTC, I'm not sure what it'll bring up. Yeah, no recorded data, not a surprise. Let's go back. Uh, if I review data stream, I don't think I have any recorded data as well, but that's kind of interesting that you can do all of that, right? Record data stream. Uh, record your fault codes. Looks like you can go over here to do a setup. I'm um, sorry about my exposure not quite being right. And you can change some of your measurements, your language and things like that. But I think most of what you'll do is here in the OBD section. And this seems pretty robust. I mean, like I said, if I hit okay again here, you can just look at all the things that we have here. 
Uh, I can start that data stream and start gathering data, freeze the frame, O2 sensor test, onboard monitoring, evaporator system test, vehicle engine. If I hit the vehicle information here, or if it'll pull, there it is. Yeah, cool. So, you know, it's definitely connected. And like I said, not only is this thing pretty big and robust, but that is definitely the most impressive display I have ever had on a kind of a consumer handheld OBD scanner. So pretty impressed with it. I'll put a link to it in the description. Peter Ron Panda, out.